What is going on guys? This is your boy Eastley Jackets here and I'm bringing you guys some Madden 16 career mode and in this very first episode I will be creating the ultimate speed wide receiver. That is right speed wide receiver. I asked two of my loyal subscribers should I make a wide receiver or a running back and they decided on wide receiver. Also, as you guys know, there's new ways to catch in this Madden, aggressive possession and yards after catch. And so that's going to make it a little bit more exciting than it would normally be to play as a wide receiver position. Now you have choices to be undrafted or you can be a late round pick or you can be an early draft pick. So I chose early draft pick because obviously I want my guy to be a starter right away. Now here you're going to see me change his name to Easley Jacket so he better fits my YouTube channel. And I will choose number 85. And of course, as you guys know, he will attend NC State University like I do now. Go Wolfpack. And he will be 22 years old. Now, after a little bit more modifications, you can see my finished product. He's a 6'2", 220 pound animal. And uh, that's kind of the size of the receiver I wanted. As you guys know, bigger receivers have a lot more success. Look at guys like Des Bryant and Calvin Johnson. And I want my receiver to be able to go up and get that aggressive catch, you know what I mean, when it's up in the air, when Russell Wilson, you know, throws it up to me. So um, playing for the Seahawks, guys, we got our season opener facing off against the St. Louis Rams in St. Louis. As you see, Todd Gurley there, the beast from the 252 in North Carolina, and Russell Wilson there back at the QB spot. Eastley Jack has played quarterback in Madden 15, but now he is going to be catching passes from the quarterback Russell Wilson. And we are freaking pumped up and we are ready to go. So starting off early, you know, on first down, Russell Wilson, a little bit of miscommunication there on the timing. He's a little bit ahead on his throw. So that's something that, you know, we still got to work on. But here he's able to hit Jimmy Graham to keep the chains moving. Now, a little bit later, second down. Easy Jackets comes in motion and boom gets his very first catch in the NFL so an exciting moment there as you see Pete Carroll he's absolutely loving it and now we give Foles a chance after we are unable to convert or you know score whatsoever but a little bit later when we do get the ball back we're able to get the ball even closer down the field and then oh no Jimmy Graham suffers an injury as you see he is banged up rolling around on the ground however the good news is he would come back after a little bit of time on the exercise bike so nothing serious but a pretty serious scare there and then later on the possession we are able to score and get in the end zone to get on the board 7 nothing Seahawks so that's pretty pretty exciting now Russell Wilson here overthrows me going down the sideline on this wheel route we realized that with my size we got some mismatches on the outside and so you know I'm hoping that we can get some better timing as you saw on the very first pass timing is really key and here once again you know just something that we got to work on you know getting off the line obviously it's the first game we're both a little bit anxious that's why he threw that interception there but also you know they got me returning kicks now and you know getting out past the you know 20 yard line that's what's important so here they got the corner playing me a little bit too close and I'm able to find a gap in the defense between the safeties and move the chain so an awesome catch there as you see the instant replay here Russell Wilson fires it down the field and I'm able to get a catch for more than you know five or ten yards so that was pretty good feeling there and then here Russell once again just overthrows me on that sideline but we see that there is an opportunity for us to cause some damage so going into the second half now you know tie game 7-7 pretty low scoring game because both defensive teams are just giving it everything they got so with that kick return I'm able to get you know out past the 35 and we try to establish our run game here early in the third quarter but once again we go to the real route and this time it's a little bit of a better throw but I'm unable to come down with it so hopefully you know my aggressive catching skills can get a little bit better but sadly on the next play on a first and ten Russell Wilson tries to hit Marshawn Lynch and ends up throwing a pick six that's right as you see here he tried to hit Lynch on the dump route the cornerback reads that all the way and he takes that to the house so you know it's pretty tough you know but we are right we're gonna bounce right back on the very next possession and this time the wheel route works and Russell Wilson hits me for my first NFL touchdown that's right Eastley Jackets as you see the celebration there pumped up to tie the game back up right near the end of the third quarter as you see here you know Russell Wilson just fires puts it in the right spot and I run and go get it Eastley Jackets gets in the end zone so that is what is up 
Now I am hungry. I want the ball again. Throw it to me, Russ. I get the ball, and I'm trying to get in the end zone, breaking a couple tackles, trying to hit my Braxton Miller spin move right there. Um, but this time, you know, we're going to feed the beast instead. As you see, I get this crucial seal block here, and Marshawn Lynch is able to get into the end zone to give the Seahawks the lead 21-14. to Once again, watch this. You know, receivers, they got to do more than catch and run. They got to be able to block. As you see, I was able to seal that edge right there for Marshawn. Now, coming back a little bit later, St. Louis was able to tie up the game. So with three minutes to go, we have the ball and a chance to put this away. Easley Jackets blocked, but Russell Wilson gets crushed and gets sacked in the backfield. So now we're facing a third and long, and with two minutes to go, Russell Wilson fires across the middle, and Easley Jackets catches and makes a defender miss, and he goes all the way 87 yards for the score. What a play. Oh my goodness. This is my first game in the NFL and I'm able to find a gap in the defense. And after that, it was just me and the green turf out in the open. As you see here, the perfect route, kind of like we ran earlier. This time, instead of lobbing it across the middle, he fires more of a bullet. And then from there, one guy dives and ain't nobody catching me after that. Look how good my receiver looks out there in the open field with that visor, the gloves. Woo, he looks like an animal. I think you guys would agree. So that's pretty awesome, guys. We're able to take the lead there, 28-21. And then here, with the game pretty much out of reach, the clock winding down, Marshawn Lynch breaks a run in the open field and then gets caught from behind. So best believe I was giving Marshawn Lynch an earful for getting caught in that scenario. You know you should never get caught as a running back in the open field. But the good news is, guys, Seahawks come out on top. Easley Jackets, very first game in the NFL Final score, 28-21. We take care of the St. Louis Rams on the road to improve to 1-0. and So what a way to start my Madden 16 career mode, guys. Two touchdowns, including an 87-yarder, as you see right there, me jumping in the end zone. So that is pretty exciting. As you see, we dominated the Rams in pretty much every single category. So we will be traveling to Lambeau Field to face off against the Green Bay Packers next week. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Easley Jackets, and I'm signing out.